Today we're doing another CSEC economics lesson and this is based on section one of your syllabus, Nature of Economics. We will be looking at branches of economics and some other important terms. So these are our objectives. We will define the term economics, describe the central problem of economics, and explain the branches of economics. Now, when we talk about economics in general, you should know by now that it's considered to be a social science. So it studies how society makes decisions as it relates to the whole production process. So it looks at how, you know, the decision is made as it relates to the production, distribution, and consumption of goods and services. The central problem of economics is considered to be scarcity. And it's a problem because there are unlimited human wants, but there are limited resources that are available to satisfy those wants. And when we have scarcity, it therefore means that a choice has to be made. Now, these three things are the three main questions asked or answered by economics. It looks at what to produce, how to produce, and for whom to produce. So macroeconomics focuses on the actions of individual agents within the economy. And by economic agents, we're referring to firms, households, and the government. So macroeconomics looks at how people make decisions as it relates to those things I mentioned earlier. When you study macroeconomics, what you will learn about is how firms make decisions, for example, as it relates to what to produce, you know, what goods or services they'll make available, the quantity that they will produce and the number of persons they will hire to produce those things. Of course, you'll learn some more about firms and their decision making. You will also learn about the factors that influence the decisions of individuals. So you learn about how individuals make a decision as it relates to which goods or services they will consume. You will learn about some government regulations also which impact individuals and businesses. So these are some of the basic concepts that you will learn about in macroeconomics. Now macroeconomics on the other hand looks at the economy as a whole. So it focuses on broad issues. So it, look, it would look at economic growth, it will also look at unemployment, inflation, and the balance of payments. And by balance of payments, we mean a country's transactions with the rest of the world. The branches of economics are microeconomics and macroeconomics. And I just want you to keep in mind that they are not, you know, independent of each other, but really they, they work together. So they are complementary perspectives on the overall economy. So both branches are important. Now, when you study macroeconomics, you learn about the inflation rate I mentioned before, some of these targets. So government will also look at strategies that they can use to lower unemployment, what they can do to improve the balance of payments and things that can be done to achieve economic growth. Now, I hope you would have a clear distinction in your mind now as it relates to the branches of economics. So, in two sentences, what would you say is the main difference between macroeconomics and macroeconomics? Write that down quickly. That's all we'll do for today. These are some of the sources that were used to create this lesson.